here's how to save your stencil project so that the laser cutter can recognize the SVG. First, what I'm going to do is go to the right and grab a box, put it down over here. Next, I'll click on my stencil and I'll make it into a hole so it's transparent. Next, I'll drag my box over here and I'm going to turn my snapping grid to 1 16th of an inch. Okay. I'm gonna shrink my box down so it's thinner than my stencil and then drag it out so it's a little bit wider than my stencil. Just like so. Select both of them and then group it. Let's try that again. Select both of them and group it. There we go. So this is what your stencil should look like. It should be the opposite of the actual stencil. The letters should be there and there should be a border around. Next, all you have to do is click on the design, the top list, left, and download for 3D printing and click the .svg button. And now it is saved as an SVG.